Okay, welcome back to part three. Uh, we've now, with this swab collector, collected a, a sample of saliva so it's now very mobile and soft and squidgy. It's very firm when it comes out of the packet. Um, the correct procedure for collecting the saliva is to give the collector on the stick to the person who's donating the sample, ask them to move it around uh, bottom and top of the mouth, in front of the teeth, between the teeth and the cheeks to collect any sample, under the tongue, across the top of the tongue, roof of the mouth, and then ask them with their tongue to feed saliva onto the swab until it's completely soft and squidgy. You want to get a good sample of saliva. Now if you unscrew the lid of the collector, you just push this down into the base and you'll see in the base we've got approximately 5 mils of saliva. When it's completely filled, that's a very good sample we've got there. These swabs don't tend to compress, so if there isn't adequate saliva being obtained in the bottom of that bulb, you can ask them to put that back into the mouth and to feed saliva onto it to get an adequate sample. I come around the other side now, we invert the dispenser and then what I'm doing is just squeezing this and adding two to three drops of saliva into each of these sample wells. Now that should be perfectly adequate. What you'll see now is the test membrane starting to run with the pink dye here, coming up from the base, running up towards the top of the panels. You've got to start your timer now and you're looking for five minutes to elapse, by which time the membranes, the pink dye should have traveled all the way up the results window, leaving a white background and you will have, if they are negative results, test lines forming against all those T1, 2, T, T3 and T4 lines and a nice clear control line at the top. If you've not added adequate saliva to the test, then you should see within about three or four minutes that those pink dyes aren't running and further saliva can be added. But if I show you the bulb here, you'll see I've only had to use probably a third, maybe even a quarter of the sample that that swab has collected to adequately run these tests. So what we're going to do now is just let this test run for the full five minutes and in the final part of this demo we'll come back and show you those test lines and talk a little about interpretation of your results and how to read them.